My dear brothers and sisters, the people of Borno State, in recent days and weeks, we have come under renewed attacks, which horribly remind us that our security challenges are still launching. It is regrettable that this upsurge in cowardly suicide attacks came not long after the patriotic military forces of this country recaptured the Sambisa forest, which used to be the operational zone of the Boko Haram terrorists. It was from Sambisa that these mass murderers used to train, prepare, and launch ball attacks on our communities. Our gallant military and other security agencies have now denied them the use of their former high command. However, we must remind ourselves that the recapture of Sambisa forests and the flushing out of the terrorists from most of their former enclaves does not mean that our struggle is over. Instead, the terrorists have resorted in their usual cowardly fashion to stepping up attacks on sub targets. Cowardly and vile attacks such as these on schools Places of worships, markets, and other sub targets are signs of the terrorist weakness and of their desperation to tell their terror code travelers around the world that they are not yet finished. In this criminal endeavor, they resort to the use of teenagers and children as young as seven years. More recently, they even strap babies on the back of their recruits in order to slip through our security dragnets. They also use hard drugs on these innocent children who do not know what they are doing when they kill their own parents, relations, and fellow country men and women. Many precious lives have been lost. Hundreds of citizens, including schoolgirls, were abducted. Many more people have suffered serious injuries as a result of these senseless acts of bloodthirsty enemies of peace. 